Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to log in Zuhu Mail in Gmail in 2024. So if you prefer managing your Zuhu Mails or emails within Gmail, I'll just guide you through the process of integrating these two services together. So make sure to follow the step-by-step -step guide on how to log in uh, with Zuhu Mail and Gmail and make sure to stick by a lot dive right into the video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me i'm using brave for you you can use this where you want and once you open that basically just go to this url section here make sure to go to zuhu.com of course we will need to connect like zuhu mail to gmail so we'll need to go to zoho.com uh, mail and this should take you right away into it of course it's good to also open your gmail as well so as you can see just click on access zoho mail and you should find yourself right there as you can see of course if you don't have an account or you have an account just go and log in into it if you have and if you don't go and create a new account it's gonna be very easily and as we said to set up gmail account in zoho mail you will be able to do it so what you'll need to do here and as example zuho you can go and click on settings right here not this one so sorry i'm clicking on multiple stuff that's i should not so basically in here just go and click on settings as you said and from this settings example you can simply you can either go to this integration options and look for gmail as example so i'll just go here and look for gmail so you can see there's nothing about Gmail in here. Maybe not in this page as an example. Of course, we can even look for Zuhu uh, apps or something like that. So I'm just checking this integration. I'm not sure if you'll find this in here or not. So I'm just checking those integrations uh, and see if there is the option of connecting it to that. So it's not here. So basically, I just uh, try to check like this integration if it is in there. But normally... To connect your Gmail with Zoho, of course, all you need to do is just go to this list panel, scroll down until you find this mail account. In this mail account, of course, we'll need to go and add another mail account. So go here and click on plus button. And as you can see, add a mail account. So account, account type, is this POP3 or IMAP? So what should you enter in here? And of course, uh, this available only in paid plans. So you'll not be able to use that unless you have a plan. So you have to go and upgrade now if you want to use it. As example but basically of course you'll have to choose uh, the pop 3 if you want to connect it to any of those for example to uh, connect your external email account provider like outlook of 365 zuhu or others example in here and for imap as an example it's available only for premium features so for example you'll need to go and pay for a plan so for pop 3 as we said we will here we'll have uh, if it's not like one of the options before We'll have to start filling up the email address. For example, I'll just go and try to connect it to this account, which is my Gmail. And the account name, as example, will be filled up by default. As example, as an example, server will be pop.gmail.com. You can set this as the default account as well. As you can see, it's configured as Gmail right away. So you can even add a password to it if you want to make some authentication to it. Or, or as an example, let me just go and put like a password in here. I don't know let me just go and do this this would be good once you put your password as an example you can start editing any other settings like to use a, some a custom smtp server and here you'll find some server configuration i don't suggest you to uh, touch that unless you know what you're doing as an example authentication same uh, or use as same as incoming credentials or you can use the below credentials it's up to you so once you edit all of those in general, here you'll find incoming. You can also edit that and outgoing as well. And yeah, if everything is good to go, to go all you need to do is just go and click on save. And so username and password is not accepted. Okay, maybe I have a wrong password. So basically, I'll have just to go and get to this the exact like password and I'm coming back. So once you enter the password, just go and click on save again. And password required. Uh, so specific passport required you will need to go to sports google and to this exact link i don't know why but just go and copy this at the moment paste this right here and just go and delete this 
click on here an example so sign up with app password of course you can just go as seems and follow those steps right here but it should like connects right away but anyway uh maybe i'm still mistaken with the password or something like that but for you just go and do it and you this should make it good to go for you you can also go to your gmail example go to settings here go to see all settings and right here an example you can go to this forwarding and pop and imap and here of course you'll have to choose enable pop for all mails example save changes and maybe this will work right now because maybe if that's problem so let me just go to mail accounts and yeah basically you'll have to go and do that again so click on that and basically just uh, do that again so fill up all the informations right there and enter the password right here then click on save and let's see if it will work okay it's not working again maybe i still have like a problem on password or something like that but normally once you enable this in here and you've done of course the the, uh, the thing of course on like let me just go and enable this again i don't know why it's not enabled and here it'll just go and click on save again so let me just go and delete those click on save yeah so yeah you can just maybe come here and follow those steps maybe it's making something wrong yeah it's maybe something with the password as i said before and you should be good to go maybe it's something wrong with my password you should be normally good to go so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye